We just got done on a day on the ice. You know, we got a lot of snow that came, a lot of slush. It was interesting out there today. You know, we took the snow dogs out. We had one, two, three, four, five, six different snow dogs on the ice with this awesome group from Ice Team. Uh, and what we want to do right now is show you how we load these. Uh, we have three different ways of loading, and honestly, this wasn't even planned. It's just how we like to transport our gear. Uh, so we're going to have Mao show you how he does his. I'm going to show you how I load up mine, and then Drew's going to show you how he loads up his and walk through that so you have some ideas as you look at how to transport your snow dog. Mao, yeah. what do you got guys. going on here? So Mao here's got just a, a system that goes into the trailer hitch of his truck. Uh, this is what, a 500 pound weight capacity? Yeah, it's 500 pounds. Yeah, 500 pound yeah. weight capacity. You're talking about a 320 pound snow dog. You've used this a dozen times or more. So he's going to show you how he can load this really easily by himself, really without a trailer. That's pretty simple. And then he folds that up. Obviously, he's going to strap it down. Uh, I know you even have a cover for it, that kind of stuff to keep road debris off it. Uh, that's pretty darn smooth, if you ask me. Uh, what do you want to load yours next to? Or? Yeah. yeah. So, we just have a Flow Cargo Max trailer here. Plastic uh, body aluminum frame, super lightweight. Kind of like Mao, it's easy to get in and get out of these accesses. Like, we'll get to Matt. Like, Matt's got the big trailer there. and. That sucker's, I mean, if you're in a tight access, you can't really turn around. I felt like Austin Powers today. I know, Matt was like trying to tell me not to turn around. I'm like, dude, we got turning radius, like we're fine. So, let's put it on here. So, that was obviously super easy, and we'll strap it down at the front. But what I really like about this trailer and this snow dog in particular is we were dragging around a Nanook today. Matt, you want to give me a hand here? This is just a two-man shelter here, and it fits perfect right on the back side of this trailer here. It just kind of wedges itself right in there. And what we do is just lift it up, strap it in, throw a couple of ratchets over the top, and we are good to go. Nice. So. That's the second way we load snow knocks. Super convenient. <laughs> and the third way the big dog. is if you have an enclosed trailer like we have here, so inside this trailer right now, I already have three snow dogs. So if we want to take an entire pack of snow dogs, I especially like we did today, we run this enclosed, out of the elements, that kind of stuff. Other thing, again, I can do this on my own, load and unload. And one tip for sure, I always tell people when they load any of this stuff, if you watch how Mao loaded up, if you watch how Drew loaded up, and you watch how I load up, we take the sled down. We walk them off the ramp. Some people stay on there the whole time, gets a little squirrely. I would recommend taking the sled off and just walking it up on the ramp. It's that easy. Now I got four snow dogs in here, plenty of room for a fish trap my sleds, all my ancillary gear, I can close it up, keep it out of the elements, and away we go. So all kinds of ways to get these snow dogs from a B, from point A to point B. You got Mao system, which is cool. Drew system, super lightweight flow. And then you got the big dog if you want to take more than one. So there's some ways to get your snow dog to the ice.